I finally made it to Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. Five days, four nights, 42 miles. I'm at the trailhead right now in Grand Sable. It's 929, 57 degrees. First stop is uh, All Sable East Campground. It's about 6.8 miles from here. We'll see you there. All right, so four miles in for the first day of doing 6.8. I got about two miles to what's called log slide campground. That's not the one I'm staying at, but I'm gonna take a break there. I don't know what it is with this pack today. It's like really pulling on a muscle and making my neck just hurt really bad. Uh, so I'm gonna take a break there. Pull out some ibuprofen. Hopefully that'll help. Usually it does for us old guys. But uh, whew, I just wanted to check in and I am now officially in bear country. Uh, when I got on this part of the trail, there was actually a posting saying that there has been an active bear in this area. So keep my eyes out. Hopefully I don't run into any. I do their black bear. Um, they're pretty, for the most part, docile. Uh, don't really like people all that much and tend to stay away from us. So, no big deal. Whatever. Bring it on, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> That is where I'm headed. That's the All Sable Lighthouse. That is my campground for tonight. Holy crap. Absolutely amazing. I got two miles to my campsite. That's my view. Holy, I mean. Look at this. I'm going to turn this around so y'all can see it. I mean, just look at that. That's Lake Superior. Unbelievable. Alright. I am almost to my campsite at All Sable East. Whew. It's been all downhill, of course, which makes sense because it was all uphill until this point. <laughs> That's how that works. You go up, you gotta go down. So, whew. surprisingly, I still have service on my phone too, but still just day one. All right. My feet are killing me. I have a blister that's working its way which is odd because I don't ever get blisters, but my feet were wet this morning because it was very dewy. Is that a word? Dewy? Dewy? Yeah. Anyways, uh, walking through that, my feet got all wet. So I had to check that out. But uh, 
yeah so far so good get to my campsite set everything up hit the beach relax for the rest of the day and then uh yeah a long one of almost 11 miles tomorrow which will probably be more than that because it lied about today it was only supposed to be 6.8 to get here today <clears throat> i'm at seven and a half right now so oh well almost there see you when i get there Uh, made it my campsite. I'm staying at uh, All Sable East 2. The um, minute I got here, I already soaked the hell out of my shoes and my dry socks I had put on when I got here. Just gonna sit back and relax. I walked uh, 8.29 miles today, which was actually almost two miles longer than what they said it was going to be, which that's normal. They, they never get that stuff right. <clears throat> oh, let me go ahead and show you my campsite. So it is. Campsite 2. It's all pretty much wooded. You know, I got one person over there, got one person over there. You go straight through there, and that's where Lake Superior is. And that's where I soaked my feet. So. <sighs> I'm probably gonna call it early tonight because I'm tired. So that's probably it for the day and uh, I will see you guys in the morning. Oh, morning guys. Uh, started day two. It's quarter to nine in the morning. I slept in a little bit later than I wanted to. Story of my life. I, I slept absolutely terrible last night. Um, hopefully tonight will be better. I'm going to grab me a quick breakfast. And then head out. It's going to be... Kind of crappy at first because my shoes are still soaking wet. Um... So yeah, so I'm gonna have some wet feet for the probably the, most of the day, if not all of the day. And I already have one blister starting from yesterday, so yeah. Fun times. All right, everybody. So I made it to the lighthouse. It's the All Sable Lighthouse. Uh, got filled up on water. Go ahead and check that out. That uh, is pretty awesome. Got a gorgeous view out there. Right by Lake Superior. And uh, I'm on my way. I got about nine miles to go. I've already done a, about a half mile, so maybe it's like 10, 10 miles left. But uh, yeah, keep it posted, people. So far, so good. Oh, and the soaked shoes, turns out they're already dry just from walking that half mile. Took another short detour. Uh, I'm at apparently called Shipwreck Beach. Um, the sandstone here, it's really hard to see and I guess there's been multiple shipwrecks here. Uh, I don't really see any myself. I don't think I'm high enough. I mean, look at this place, gorgeous. There's the stairs I came down. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And I've only gone a mile today. So, yeah. Just taking my time. Not in any hurry. I know today is my most mileage, but where I rush it and miss out on stuff like this. So.
All right, guys, so I am back on the path here, and it's pretty awesome. It's super tiny. It's root infested, which I love, right by the lake. Can you hear that? Yeah, pretty awesome. So I figured I would just check in. Whew, these trails are pretty cool. Slowing you down a little bit because you gotta watch out for roots. You don't wanna fall and hurt yourself. Especially way out in the middle of nowhere like this. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually, uh, it's kind of magical. I like it. I feel like uh, Lord of the Rings or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh. But yeah. Day two and I'm still having a blast. So. All right, well, I just got done walking through a uh, 12 mile campground. It's car camping, which is pretty awesome. I enjoy doing that too. Um, so now I'm back on the trail, back in the thick of things. Got 2.6 miles till um, seven mile campsite, which is where I'm headed next. Take a break, eat some lunch. It's about two o'clock. I'm only about five miles out from my campsite where I'll be staying for the night, but yeah, I need some food. Um, yeah, like, just let everybody know, if you decide to come out here to do this hike, this through hike of pictured rocks, make sure you have your permits with you. I got stopped. They checked my permit. So the rangers are out here, they will check. So definitely make sure you got that in order because uh, it's legal without reservations. So back at it, I'll see you at seven mile. So, I made it to Seven Mile Campsite. Right now I'm sitting on the beach of Lake Superior. About ready to have some lunch. It is 3.24 p.m. I'm in no hurry. And uh, I just, whew, I really needed a break. And this is amazing views. For lunch so i busted up my chair sat down and this will work for sure uh i'm probably gonna camel up while i'm here with this nasty water <sighs> get some more of the lake superior water because that stuff's actually pretty darn good all right let's pull out my sheet here so i can see how much further i have until i get to my campsite which this thing has been wrong every day. So let's see, I am at seven mile. And according to this, I got 3.6 miles left to go to get to my campsite at Trapper's Lake. So whatever. 5.30 probably is when I get there. Sure. I ain't doing shit tonight. I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna set up my tent and go to bed. Cause uh, this has been rough. So, I'm gonna eat my lunch. And honestly, you probably won't see me uh, till I get to my campsite. Yeah, I'm whooped. So, I'm not at my campsite yet, but I had to. 
because you dirty. Stupid lens. Somebody, I knew this was here. I just wanted to explain on how it got here. See what you know how? Huh? Anybody at all? Leave it in the comments if you know how it got here. Because, uh, I got nothing. Cool, and I knew it was here, but I mean, yeah. All right, now I'm going bye bye till I get to the campsite. Uh, I'm guessing less than a mile, so and it needs to be quick too because it's 10 to 6, and I don't want to be setting up in the dark. So I'll see you when I get there. Yay, I made it. 6.23, sun sets in an hour. So I need to get my tent set up, get some food going, get some water. <sighs> Finally, it was a long day. So let's get that tent set up. Alrighty guys, tent set up, it's all done. I need to eat, get some water, and I'm heading to bed. Morning everybody. Welcome to day tray. Uh, it's about nine o'clock. We're still here at the Trapper's Lake campsite I'm getting ready to pack everything up get on the trail I got eight miles to Chapel Beach so yeah I think today's gonna be another beautiful beautiful day got my belly full of some food and some hot cocoa pack up head out I'll see you out there on the trail day three heading to Chapel Beach what up guys well as you can tell I got my pack on where you left camp, I'm about a half mile out. And of course, let's turn me around. I'm at the lake. I mean, come on, you gotta stop at the lake. It's gorgeous. So according to the sign, I got uh, 2.9 miles till I get to what's called Beaver Creek. So I'll get there, take a small break probably. So I'm taking I'm taking it very easy today. Yesterday I put in almost 13 miles, 14 miles. It was rough. I think that's the most I've ever done in one day. And uh I can actually see in the distance the cliffs I'm heading to. So I can't wait for today. I think most of the views that I'm gonna see are today and tomorrow. It's gonna be freaking awesome. So Easy. I sunk in a bit, so now my foot's wet. That sucks. Nice and bright, sunshiny, right next to Beaver Creek where I just got water. Oh man, this 
kids plug yours. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh my God. Cliffs in the distance, which is where I'm heading today. Back there is where I was. So, oh, now I'm getting all nice and sunshiny, but look at that background. You know what, I'm just gonna turn around and show everybody. Look at that. There's my view for collecting water. You can't be thankful for that. Wow. I'm not sure if you can even see that on the video. Those cliffs already look awesome. I can't wait to get even closer. But I got 5.6 miles from here to my campsite for the day. I'm staying at Chapel Beach. Once I get there, I'm gonna set everything up. <sighs> yeah. Let's get back at it. Stairs. Why did it have to be stairs? Oh, my knees hate me. I hate me. Oh. All right, you guys, I made it. Spray Falls. You're actually only gonna see Spray River because, uh, oh, I don't know if there's a trail that actually shows the falls yet. Uh, if there is, I will definitely show that to you guys. I got about a mile and a half to the campsite. Chapel Beach. That's it for today. All right, guys. Whew. Made it to Chapel Rock. I can actually just see right past it. Chapel Beach, which is uh, where I'm staying tonight. Been a hard, tough day again. But I wouldn't trade it for anything. This is just unbelievable. I don't even know how this is possible. Can y'all see that? Just wait. This one is connected to. That's how it's surviving. Which roots seriously stretch. Oh, up under that rock. What a beautiful dragon tree. Anyway. Time to go set up camp and then uh, I think I'm gonna hit up Chapel Falls. So I'll see you at the falls. Alrighty guys, so I made it to my campsite. Took me a little bit longer than it should because there are no fires allowed at this campsite. And I had to clear that out because some 
had a fire. So it took a little bit longer than I hoped. So I'm probably not gonna make it to the falls today. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Uh, but I got everything set up, getting ready to get some grub on. And then uh, I might go and hang out at the beach for a little bit. But as far as you guys go, I'm signing off. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Whew, last night was rough. Uh, I don't think I am a ground sleeper when it comes to backpacking. I just cannot get to sleep. Um, yeah, so I woke up a lot later than I wanted. I'm gonna miss out on going to a couple of the falls. It's whatever. Um, I got seven and a half miles to go today to get to Potato Patch. My first stop is gonna be Mosquito River, which is four miles from here. And uh, when I get there, I have to load up on water because my campsite tonight has no water. Right now, I'm just trying to wake up. My back is really sore. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of glad it's almost over. As beautiful as it has been. But, yeah. I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna get out of this tent. I'm gonna go get my bag. Get something to eat and then head out. See y'all out there on the trail. All right, you guys just got done cleaning up my campsite. Packed up, all ready to go, I think. <laughs> okay, and uh, I got stopped by the privy. Well, this one has an outhouse, so it's a little bit nicer than a privy. Smells about the same, but whatever. At least I'm not pooping in a hole in the ground. Yeah, all packed, ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna hit the trail. First stop is Mosquito River, four and a half miles. And then from there, it's just another three and a half to my next uh, campsite. Should be a pretty easy breezy day. Of course, now that I said that, it's probably gonna be a pain in the 11.02, not that far into it at all today, but you know me, I like to stop. And look at the wonders. So, let me go ahead and check. Yeah, first stop's gonna be Miner's Beach after I'm done here. I don't know where that's at, but uh, whew, that's where I'm headed. Wow. Here we go. I just made my stop at, this is Mosquito River. I filled up my water bottle. I filled up my Canuck water bag. Um, let's see. Oh, there is restrooms here, but I'm not worried about that. So, I am now carrying three liters of water because Mosquito Patch, Mosquito Patch, Potato Patch has no water. So, I gotta carry it in with me. But I got 3.3 miles to get there. It's two o'clock, plenty of time. I'll see you when I get to the campsite. Three miles out from Potato Patch Campsite. Um, I'm not gonna lie, carrying this much water. Wow. I don't know what the weight is for water, but uh, I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen. But I wanna say, I think it's like two pounds for every liter of water. So, I'm carrying three liters. Uh, so that's an extra six pounds in my pack. 
and uh, today started out pretty easy. It ain't no joke now. So I am slowing down my average hike speed. It's like two and a half miles an hour, uh, which I don't know if that's average or if that's fast. I don't know, but I'm just taking my time. Tonight is my last night out here. I'm staying at Potato Patch and then 7.9 miles to the Munising Visitor Center where my car is. So yeah. Either way, let's keep her going. See you when I get to Potato Patch. Hey guys, so I made it to Potato Patch, finally. Uh, it's 4.11, got plenty of time. I need to set up my tent, uh, get everything unpacked, get it around for the night, and then uh, eat some food. And I know that this whole trip, I haven't shown you guys what I've been eating. I'll show you tonight. I'm having a peak refuel, uh, sweet pork and tortillas. So that would be fun because I've never had them before. And uh, yeah, that was pretty exhausting. Um, I need to check my toe because I think I might have broke it. But yeah, last night out here. And then uh, tomorrow, according to the sheet, 8.9 miles and I'm done. I'm an emotional person. I think that's going to be an emotional time for me. So, uh, we'll see. I'll check in with you guys later when i am uh, got my tent set up and getting food around. And after I kill some mosquitoes. Hi right, guys, so like I said, peak refuel, sweet pork and rice. Uh, let's see. One cup of boiling water, 10 minutes, good to go. Like I said, never had this one. Although, Monday night I had the chicken alfredo, amazing. Tuesday night I had the uh, marinara, which was really good. Wednesday night, which was last night, old classic, the Mount House lasagna, awesome. So, we'll see. It never seems like it's going to be enough water for these. Oh my goodness, that smell. All right. So we let that sit 10 minutes. And then it'll be good to go. Alrighty guys, so it's actually sat there a little bit longer than 10 minutes. I like to do that. Just be on the safe side. I actually had it sit for like 12 or 13 minutes. Oh, so. Wow, this is a lot of food.
that's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and finish eating this. Try to eat what's in here because that's a lot. If not, it's going to go in my trash bag. But, uh, yeah. Unbelievable. But I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to eat my food on my little table I got set up here. Hop in my tent, read some more of the book. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, another beautiful day has graced us. It is day five, last day. Uh, I got 8.9 miles to Munising Visitor Center. And then once I get there to my car, I got a five hour drive home. <sighs> last night was the worst when it comes to sleeping. I was at the beautiful campsite, Potato Patch, but uh, yeah chipmunks galore they kept climbing on my tent wouldn't leave me alone then i heard some coyotes too that were fighting so didn't sleep very good last night but i'm gonna have a cliff bar that's got some espresso in it get that energy up and then uh we're gonna try and pack up as quick as we can say and head out on the trail all right let's get to it All right guys, so I am almost to the Cliffs campsite uh, where I'm gonna stop and take a little bit of a break. But I mean, man, most of the trail right now has been these little like wooden platforms. So it must get awfully swampy in through here. I just, I can't even imagine what it's like through here if it's raining. I mean, this has gotta be terrible because it has already been a little bit muddy, so I'm thinking that maybe it did rain before I got here. I don't know. I know there's a slight chance of rain tonight. Hopefully I'm back to the car and done before that, but we'll see. Uh, okay. Whew. So, like I said, almost to the cliffs. Uh, if there's any views, obviously I'll show them to you. If not, probably won't see me again until Sandpoint Junction. 
All right, guys, so I'm not technically at Sandpoint Beach, but you know what? I'm not walking, because apparently it's a mile. I'm not walking an extra mile down there and then a mile back, just get water. Because I already went down probably about 300 feet of stairs. So I'm gonna have to climb back up to to get back on the trail anyways. So no, I'm not doing that. But unfortunately, I did still need water. So I climbed through this little brush right here. Now I'm on the beach, right next to the water. I can get it whenever I need to. Check it out. It's like my own little personal beach. Nobody else is here with me, which is what I like. Yeah. So I'm gonna sit here. <coughs> Have my lunch, get some water, head on out. It's been rough, but today's the end. So I am back at it. Uh, it's two and a half miles to Munising Falls, which is the payoff. The end of the road, end of the line, finish line, the big hoo-ha. <laughs> um, so yeah, <sighs> getting pretty emotional. I know it's only like 45 miles, but hey, I've never done anything like this. I know some people beat do thousands, um, but this is still pretty impressive for me. I got discouraged quite a few times, but kept at it. Didn't think I could do it, kept doing it. And now I'm only two and a half miles from completing it. So take that from somebody who just two years ago was a heavy smoker. I had a pacemaker put in for his heart. He was dealt with heart problems his whole life. Now I'm out here hiking in the back country, 45 miles over five days. I think that's pretty damn impressive. But hey, that's just me. But anyways, here we go. Musing Falls, two and a half miles. Can't wait. All right, guys. <laughs> Told you I get emotional. Hey guys, I'm back in my car. Already changed. Like I said, I get very emotional. Um, it was an amazing trip. A little slice of heaven on earth for sure. But uh, it's not quite over yet. Musing Falls, we still got to check that out. 
I'm gonna say by now, but I'm gonna show you Munising Falls when I get to it. All right, guys, well, you can so much see it there in the background. Using Falls. But that's it. I'm going to head home. See y'all later.